Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is I'm recording myself right now in real time, seeing the formation, seeing the data for the very first time, so I don't know what's coming next. So to respect your time, if you are looking for a video where the person's got hindsight in their favor and they're doing a trade recap or something like that, this won't be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out, the nitty gritty nature of it, then I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will pause the recording software for now and I'll be back at market open. I have an order at $8.20 here for a call. So price needs to come down a bit more. We'll see if I can get filled. I will go ahead and pause for now and I'll keep a close eye on it. Well, the price is now bouncing back upwards. So not looking like it'll work out, but I'll still keep watching. But quick little update there. Okay, looking to try to pick up a put, and I got one, and out there for $60. Uh, so if you blinked, you might have missed it, but quick, quick $60 there. I'm gonna go down to 870 now and try the same thing. So if this thing wants to keep coming up, I'll be ready for it once again at 870. So here we go, coming up. Come on, just a little bit more. All right, I think I need to go down to 820 at this point. But there we go. If this thing keeps coming up, I'm now ready at $8.20 for some more puts. I will keep a close eye on it. But uh, right there, you saw me make $60. And like I said, literally, I don't know, two seconds. I will go ahead and pause. Okay, I have an order at $15.20 here for some calls. So I want to see this come down a little bit more. Some pretty crazy action right now, but still want to see it Pull back some more. I will go ahead and pause, but I'll keep a very close eye on it because this action is definitely pretty crazy right now. All right, this is gonna be somewhat of an experimental trade. I'm, I wanna see if I'm reading things right. I think 16, just based off of the level twos, which are right over here, I think this is some sort of potential bottom that's forming, but I don't know that for sure, so I'm gonna go super small and conservative. Okay, so in there at 16. And there we go out for Yeah. So up, okay, even more. So I would have gotten 50 cents there. So okay, cool. I apologize that I didn't catch what I was seeing over here. And honestly, I, that'd be a, a, an entire video in and of itself of what I saw on the level twos. But like I said, just because you see something doesn't necessarily mean that it means anything. And even if you paper trade it, meaning kind of you know fake trade it, that also doesn't necessarily mean anything. Sometimes you just got to get money in the on, on the line. So this is what I mean by the level twos. Saw something over there, made me think 16 was an area to watch and as you saw it turned out to be accurate as it, now granted it was but I would have still gotten my 50 cent move had I wanted it but okay I need to twelve seventy. there we go so let's see if this thing wants to continue down some more here it's coming down I will go ahead and pause for now, but I will be watching it very, very closely. Okay, I have an order at 15.20. Looking like 14.20 might be the more accurate level. Trying to time it up with that yellow line down there. So we'll see if this thing wants to make another plunge to the downside. I will pause for now. Okay, it's coming down. 
Okay, I'm at 1420, not quite at that line. Okay, a little bit more. I'm at thirteen seventy now. Yeah. Should have trusted that line a bit more and just adjusted my order up. Of course, I'm speaking in hindsight knowing that I would have gotten a bound, so that's easy to do with hindsight in your favor. All right, gonna attempt to change to 1320 now. So looking for another snap to the downside. I will pause and keep an eye on it. Okay, I'm at 1270. Oh, there we go. In and out for $60. Once again, if you blinked, you missed it. Let's go to 1170. And I am now at 1170. So just made 60 bucks. Once again, very, very quick. And now I'm at 1170. So we'll see if it wants to go down there, but I will go ahead and pause, but keep a close eye on it. Okay, change to 1120. Let's go to 1070 now. Let's see if we can get another push to the downside. And I am at 1070. I will pause for now. Okay, I have an order at 970 for some more calls here. So it needs to come down a bit more. Close, but not quite. I'll keep it rolling just in case there's a quick snap down. All right, I will go ahead and pause. Have an order at, uh, I'm confused right now, did I? Okay, no, that's, so I was looking at something else and I completely lost track of what strike price I was at. So I'm at 920 now, so let's see, just another looking through a move down through these lows, which I anticipate will at least have some sort of bounce within it. All right, I will pause. Have an order at 2220 here, which actually seems a bit aggressive now that I'm seeing the price. So let's go to 2120 instead. Let's see if we can get a bit of a move down. All right, I will pause. Okay, maybe here, in. And out there for another quick little $60, fantastic. Did I hit record? I did hit record, okay, perfect. I will pause and let's see what else I can find. Have an order at 1770 here. For a couple puts. I'm watching a chart off screen, which is again the guessing game in motion here. Yep, I like 1720. Needs to push up just a bit more. No, I really don't like how it's pausing like that. And I'm definitely being conservative here now because I'm already green. 
So if I don't get filled, then, oh, well, who cares? All right, I will pause. Have an order at 1070 for some puts. Needs to come up just slightly more. I think 1050 will be the, the level. Or maybe it just doesn't even get up to that blue line. Okay, I'll pause. Okay, I have an order at 970. Let's go to 920 at this point. Nope. Got to go to 820 now. I don't want to see the prices hovering right above my order. It needs to snap down and, and hit me. All right, I will pause. Okay, I'm at 720. Okay, so that was a move I was looking for. So we'll go to 650 now. I'll go ahead and pause. All right, well, that's um, all we had. So a nice productive day for the sniper strategy. Got in a little bit of a test, as you saw with that $30 trade, uh, and then couldn't quite get filled, although self-admittedly being extra high maintenance. I mean, the strategy is already high maintenance to begin with, but I was certainly being even that much more high maintenance. So not a total shock that I, I didn't get any more fills, but that is how it goes. So overall, very happy. And um, yeah, good profitability today. Uh, good win rate, four for four. So I will take it. So everybody take care. If you enjoy these live trade videos, do a couple things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment, say hi, give me a smiley face, tell me what you traded today. But those things communicate to me that you're enjoying these live trade videos. And as long as I know you're enjoying, I'll continue to do them because they are very, very difficult to make because they're live. I have to talk to you. I have to think for myself. I have to execute my own orders. I have to make alerts in the chat room. So I don't say all that looking for pity. I just say to build context as to, to why I, I like that. That feedback on whether or not you enjoy uh, because these are not the you know the easiest videos to make so like i said if you do enjoy hit the like button leave a comment below thanks for watching take care have a good one first off thanks so much for watching the entire video real quick before you go i want to invite you to a live webinar web class training workshop online event whatever you want to call it but it will be me live revealing to you what i discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not. And I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.